G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonsai Works. Today I've got, um, I want to talk about pots and the right pot for the tree. Um, sometimes it gets over complicated, I just want to try and simplify it. This is a lovely Zelkova Serrata, really nice broom style. Um, probably the hardest thing is trying to pick the front on this tree because it looks good in all the directions you put it in, all the directions you move it around in. Um, you know, there's so many good spots. The Navarro is good on every angle. <coughs> Very hard to choose where the front is. I have an initial thought of the tree somewhere, the, 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 the front somewhere in there, but I'm not 100% sure. It's in a round pot. Always the way to do it when you're not sure about the, the front of the tree. But it's in a blue, dark blue pot. It almost, I don't know, disappears. I don't like, obviously I don't like this pot. Um, so where, where, where do you go? What kind of pot do you look for? So with me, I always have pots in mind. I always have them in the back of my head thinking, if I ever see a pot that I like, that I think it's going to fit this tree, I'm going to go for it and get it. It's a Zalkova. It's got those nice, nice kind of ovalish leaves that have got a pointy end. They're really quite nice. Um, it does change color in autumn if you can get it. Uh, but it, it's look at the twigginess. I like it in winter, especially. The twigginess is quite stunning. Beautiful broom style. Um, so what... I'm considering, I was at the Bonsai Northwest Melbourne show, which is my club, um, which I'm president of as well, in Bay, and I was always on the hunt for a pot and had it in my head. And then I saw Tracy Francis from Murrumbung uh, Ceramic Studio. She's She brought in a whole stack of pots, and there was just one that just stood out. And I just go, it's it. It's the size I need, because I've always measured also the trees, knowing how big I need the, the pots to be, etc. So... Having that in your head, you know exactly what you want, then you go and get it. You don't, it's like, you see it, you've got to get it, no matter what. And this is the pot. And this is the pot that it's going to go into. If you put it back, put it around here, you can see, it's going to look pretty amazing. It's, I like the colour of it. If I put it in here, so you can have a look, quickly, put it in here and do that. It's pretty much the right fit. So it's got a bit of an open lip, so it's kind of more inviting for the tree to come in, uh, or the viewer to come into. So it's going to be awesome. It's in round pot as well, so guess what? If I'm not sure of the front, I can always look to the front that I'm eventually different fronts, etc. All right, so I'm going to try and repot this tree, and it's in a round pot, so it's going to be great because it means I'm not, if I'm not sure about the front, I can just keep keep turning until I'm 100% sure. All right, so again, going to repot now, so we'll take this, go through the process of repotting. Um, and we'll see what I went through and show you that. I'll just see show you the um, the choice of the pot and how it all blends in, and we'll come back and look at finding the front, etc., on this tree. Um, I do have another tree that I'll do in this in this in this video as well, and I'll show you about, about pot as well. Again, the same thing. Found the right pot at the right time for a tree that looks is just ready for a pot. So let's do this one now. Okay, I'll be back after I've done a, a root prune and cleaning up this process. If you want to see me repot, repotting videos. Um, I've just done two on Trident Maples, very similar process, no need to get through. So we have after I've, re um, after I've done the roots, nice and clean, nice nice roots, exactly like an L, pretty much. This, this is the from the same family. There's so many good fronts, that's a nice front as well that you're looking at. And directly opposite is probably the original front I had picked out. So <laughs> really hard to choose um, fronts at the moment. I like that, I want to look into the tree, so that's why I chose that. I can still see into the tree there and this side also is really nice too you can still see in here and it's quite a nice uh, broom style with really good nabari as well all right so now what i've done is i've prepped the pot <coughs> without uh, off camera so here's the pot now i've just put a mesh in the middle and some wires to tie the tree in um, as i said this is going to be one of those i'm just going to uh, in a round pot, and I'm going to find, trying to find which front I like. So, put it there. I might get rid of this so I don't have to use it so you can see the pot clearly. It's fresh mix. Pretty much in the center, I mound it up. As, you, as you've seen in my videos before, I like to mound it up. Now, let's try, and, let's try and pick. I think, I think I'm going to go with what I had originally as the front. And because directly opposite is the other the other possible front. Alright, so, so you wiggle it into the mass of soil. 
just to get it really nice and tight. The level of the roots should look pretty good with this level of the pot. I'm just trying to play around at the front. Now with this one, I'm trying to aim between. There's, there's some there's some little gaps in the feet. The really big feet. I'm trying to make the middle of between those two feet, the two hollows. I like the front of this more, I think, than this for now. Anyway, so I'm going to go with this front. So tie the tree in. Tie, tie the tree in. <coughs> And when you tie the tree in, it's only for the initial phase of the repot. If you want, you can cut them off. Um, when you want to display the tree, for example, after it's settled in for a long time, you cut those off and um, carefully remove it if you really want to. This is just so to hold the tree in the pot until the, the roots start to form. As I said, if you really want to show the tree and the wires are, are showing, just cut them off. And um, the tree's not going to move. The roots would have filled the pot by then. <clears throat> so there we go. There's the finished product with that pot. How much better does it look compared to that blue pot? So I chose this front, it's still, it's still the same front that I had before. We'll work on the branching. Um, it's somewhere in there actually, I think. Somewhere in there. It does look good from the other, other side. I'll try and bring that around. But let's get, let's bring it around back to where I had you originally. And um, amazing what a, what a nice pot does to the tree, so. All right, I'm going to get on to the next one, and we'll see how that looks. Alright, so this is the next Trident I was going to show you about new pot. Um, it's just very windy today, Melbourne. I'm just trying to get the video in before I do any work, um, just so you can see what it looks like before and after. This is the pot it's in now. It's not too bad. It's a bit chunky, a bit uninteresting. I'm not a huge fan of it. But then I picked up, um, I've been looking for a pot that dimension, but oval. Um, and I don't mind green, but I don't mind also a nice light blue. This is what I got. This is the pot it's going to go in. It's a vintage Japanese Tokonama Shoyu pot. Magnificent. It's got a really nice patina already. Um, really nice size and it's a bit blurry. But really top quality pot. Just wanted to show you what I'm envisioning this tree to be in. And look at that look. So I'm going to try and <laughs> avoid this wind. Um, and I'm going to go and repot this tree so you can see the difference. So that's what it looks like now. A little bit... Uh, this is just gorgeous so that's what it's going to go in and we'll have a look at what it looks like when i've repotted it all right guys i've completed the repotting of this tree um, and now it's in that beautiful antique japanese vintage um light blue pot you can see how quite nice it is i think once the leaves come in it'll look really good with that pot contrast uh the pot's a little bit smaller than the other one so it looks maybe it looks a bit cramped for you guys but pretty nice fit in my when you when you see it in person um, I'm still working on this tree a little bit on this side trying to get more development 
but this tree is starting to look really nice um, with this pot now. Uh, the other pot was very heavy. It may, it, I don't know, it was quite a heavy looking pot. This is a bit more um, interesting, more the softer edges of the round oval, um, the beautiful colour. I think once this, um, especially in autumn, when these leaves go orange and red, um, with this blue, I think it will look pretty, pretty sweet too. Um, looking forward to seeing the green, healthy foliage come through in spring. Not too long now. The buds are starting to swell a little bit. So looking really good for that. <clears throat> I'll try and give it a little spin without the wind, hopefully, throughout ruining my photo. And as I mentioned, these are the three branches that I'm just slowly developing a little bit more. I want to make a bit more of a stronger bit of foliage in this area, um, just to make the tree look less triangular and more, um, more deciduous, more natural looking. So, but this is all about pots and the perfect pot selection for the trees. So there's Alcova in that beautiful round pot and uh, now they're trying to make all this beautiful uh, vintage Japanese pot. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm really happy with it. <laughs> I think just time will now tell with, with this tree. Um, I'm hoping in a year or two these branches will do perfectly and I'll be able, be able to put it in an exhibition, which is always my goal. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.